Hey Greatness, I'm starting some new series here. This series is about what I'm creating, what I'm manifesting into my life. Because I want to show you the things that I'm manifesting so you can see that I'm making progress over time and some of the things I'm creating in my reality. Okay, so um, I want to show you like, you know, what I'm rewiring inside of myself, what I'm programming. Uh, I want to show you... Um, some of the stumbling blocks that may happen, right? I want to show you my wins, all right? And so um, you can see you know, what it takes or um, be inspired by my my story. Law of attraction success, success, law of attraction success story, right? Um, so this law of attraction success story number one, um, I'm going to be sharing with you what I'm creating right now. My intention right now is to build a deeper connection with you, um, my audience, and to grow that connection and grow the channel. Um, I really want to grow the channel um, from not necessarily like I want to have a big channel because I want to have a lot of followers but I want to reach and impact a lot of people's lives and I want to attract people who want deep transformational change who are not necessarily into the uh, manifest money within 24 hours and um, you know uh, how to manifest your soulmate really quickly or how to manifest a text you know, like surface level, law of attraction, sort of kindergarten stuff, not truly working on yourself. So that's kind of the videos I'm staying away from. I do have a few videos like that on this channel. Um, but actually, um, one of my influencer friends online, she created a video on fulfillment. She created a video on um, this uh idea that she's actually transitioning from you know talking about you know this side of the law of attraction where it's based on the ego okay most law of attraction channels you'll see is based on ego okay and when you raise your level of consciousness to a certain level you realize like this is all a bunch of crap like there, there's there's all of these ego based desires and we're training ourselves to be stuck in this third dimension. We're training ourselves for suffering. We're training ourselves for lack and limitation. The ego causes its own afflictions. The ego causes its own problems. And we have to acknowledge that. And so the big mistake I feel like they made with the movie The Secret is they didn't teach you to get back to yourself. And they didn't teach you about source of God. And the funny thing is, there was um, Abraham in the original version of the movie The Secret. And they took her out. Uh, where she was speaking about vibration and connecting, you know, with that empowerment. And so a lot of people, when it comes to the law of attraction, they desire, they want, you know. And, and the desiring and wanting is a function of the ego, right? is edging God out, okay? We want to edge God in. We want to realize that this presence within us, this infinite intelligence within us, this, this God within us, this heaven within us, this, you know, um, source, whatever name or label you want to put on it, is the lavish abundance, is the success is everything that we could want and desire is right within us. When it comes to things like, you know, politicians and politics and wars in the world and all of these things going on, this is a function of the ego. And so as soon as you desire, you are aligned with this same system that's been played out. That's not working. Okay. It's not spiritual at all. And, um, we, we want to acknowledge that on, on a really core level because, you know, that's why we have a lot of problems and suffering in our world. This is why we have poverty. This is why people don't have food to eat. This is why, you know, we have drugs and all of these things. 
you know, alcohol and whatever. It's all a function of ego, pain, us not being in touch with ourselves. Okay. And you'll see everything is designed to make you feel fear. Everything is designed to make you escape um, your truth. Everything is designed to put you into the matrix, into the ego, to be stuck. As soon as you become awake and you come back to yourself, you don't need nothing. Okay. And when you don't need nothing, you seem to attract everything that aligns with needing nothing. Because you realize that you're full. If you, if you need nothing, that means you're grateful. That means you're full. That means you're overflowing. You're tapped into source. That infinite flow of source. And so if you're tapped into that in infinite flow of source, that means you don't need nothing. Okay? And so... When you feel infinity, when you feel abundance, guess what you get? Infinity and abundance. You get more of what you want. The trick is, don't allow the ego to want to go into yourself so you can have more things. Okay, you want to go to, you know, your truth just to be in truth. Just to be connected with yourself. To be connected to, to God from abundance, not, not from lack. Okay, because, at, you know, at one point... Um, I, I believe, um, what's her name again? Um, I can't remember this woman's name, but she had a book on self-love, right? And I wanted to have more self-love because I felt self-love is going to help me manifest more. No, that's not how you want to approach it, right? You want to self-love to, to, to just self-love, not to get anything out of it. And so as soon as we can get to those, that place and we can get that deep transformation within... I feel like it's going to change a lot of people's lives um, and and uh, raise the vibration of the planet. So that's my first goal. I want to grow my channel, but I want to create deep impact for people. I want people to tr actually transform their lives with my video and my content. So that's why I'm going to be doing like subconscious mind reprogramming sessions and healing sessions and, and uh, sharing my journey and sharing in my wins and my losses and, you know, all of these kinds of things. So you can see, you know, what I'm going through behind the scenes and so it also holds me accountable as well to making sure that I make the right decisions and moving forward because I've done a lot of things in the past whimsically not really thinking about it and wanting to move fast and all of these things and so I'm going to be making stronger decisions and more wise decisions as I move forward so that's one of the things that I'm manifesting is is that um the next thing that I'm manifesting is um I want to have uh, two uh, applicants a day. So two people applying to, you know, get um, your neutrality shifting life mastery program. So I have a online course and um, it teaches people how to reprogram their subconscious mind and create their reality from a place of empowerment rather than from a place of lack, which is what I've been talking about here. And, um, um, as you know, I offer a free subconscious mind diagnosis session so people can, you know, find out what's going on in their subconscious and holding them back. And so, um, I want to get two people per day applying to, you know, get that free subconscious mind diagnosis session. Okay, right now it's like one, 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 one a day. Sometimes one every other day. It's not necessarily like two a day, like every single day, like consistently. So I want to get to two a day uh, because I know that's going to, you know, again, help more people, transform people's lives. And it's going to help me grow the business as well. So I want to attract like high quality people, people who want to grow their business, people who want to cr find, you know, really connect with their purpose and take action on their purpose. Um, we want to work with people who... Uh, you know, are totally motivated and like, you know, just want to transform their lives. They don't want to sit on their laurels. They want to invest in themselves and like really see transformation in themselves so they can see transformations in their businesses, in their lives, in their career, um, and just feel more connected to themselves and feel more spiritual within themselves and have that sense of empowerment. Um, and so that's my, that's my second goal. That's my second outcome and intention I want to create is to, again, two people a day because um, that will lead to them, you know, going ahead and getting the program and transforming their lives for the better. All right. 
So that's my initial goal. I want to get to five a day, 10 a day, you know, 20 a day. But my first um, particular goal is actually two a day. And so we're starting from there. And uh, that's the second goal that I have right now. Um, this year, the next goal that I have, I'm planning on doing five MEO DMT. Okay, so I don't know if you've heard of this before or what DMT actually is. Um, diamethadone try something. <laughs> I don't know how to uh, say it properly, uh, but DMT is the chemical that you have in your brain that that um, allows you to tap into the spiritual realm. They call it the spiritual molecule. Now, I've personally done ayahuasca, and um, that releases DMT. Uh, but 5-MEO different DMT is a different um, medicine, can I say? And um, the reason I want to take that is to uh, expand my heart even more than it is now. I feel like I have a big heart already. I want to just, phew, I feel like there's room for more. And so um, I want to reach that next level of enlightenment and, and empowerment and like this feeling, uh, total connection and love with Source and God and the universe. So that's why I want to do 5-MEO or DMT. And um, so, yeah, I want to plan to do that uh, this year um, as well. Um, so that's going to come about some way or another. I've declared it. Usually when I declare these things, it just aligns. So that's one thing. Uh, also, uh, my next goal that I'm creating right now, manifesting right now, is I'm writing, I'm going to be writing a book, okay? I'm going to release a book. Okay? Probably going to call it Neutrality Shifting. Um, and it's going to teach people like how to reprogram their subconscious mind and why I am statements don't work for a lot of people. Like I am rich, I am wealthy, I am stuff like this. And how to begin shifting themselves, reprogramming themselves um, back to truth, okay? So I'm going to teach, like, you know, how to manifest things, but it's going to be manifest things from truth, okay? I'm going to teach how to, like, structure certain sentences in a way so your subconscious mind just, like, takes it on board. Do you know what I mean? So when you're saying your affirmations and stuff like this, it really works. So there's going to be things like affirmations in there, which you probably know about already. Affirmations are statements where you say, it's normal for me to be successful, etc. However, there's some other levels to that. There's five different levels. There's five different ways you can say a statement to really holistically and completely rewire yourself uh, for success. Okay, so I really want to write a book. Um, and so um, I'm planning on working with um, a Kindle publisher, um, an audio, audible publisher I've already spoken to. So I'm planning on doing that this year and that's going to be really cool. Probably going to hire a ghostwriter because um, my ego, the ego, my ego struggles to write and, um, you know, uh, do stuff. So I'll probably be, you know, recording it like on my voice and explaining my story and blah, 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 whatever. And then having it made like that, having them write it up for me, uh, make sure like, you know, all the grammar is really good and all this stuff. I want it to be a really small book like this one right here, like really like as a man thinketh, right? A really small book like this. So it's an easy read. You can read it over and over and over again. I, I don't necessarily believe 100% in big thick books. I feel like um, when it comes to books, a lot of books that I've read personally, it's full of filler content. It's full of filler, like a lot of filler. Even sometimes on my YouTube videos, I add a lot of filler. The reason I add a lot of filler is because YouTube wants your videos to be longer because you know they want people to stay on YouTube and the longer people stay on YouTube or the longer people watch your videos, the more your video gets promoted. And so sometimes I make longer videos intentionally and I speak longer because it helps promote the channel. And so sometimes I fill it with filler content. But in actuality, all I need to say is do this, this and this. 
right? So it's just the way YouTube works. And unfortunately I have to like kind of follow the rules in a way. Um, and so this book, like my book, I, I, wa I don't want to have any fluff. Like this is what it is. Um, here's a little like reason why you should do it and go ahead and do it. <laughs> like, you know, um, I don't want to fill it with stuff that doesn't need to be in there. Um, uh, that's not necessarily or like mandatory to be in there. And I want it to be a book that you can read over and over and over again to really like develop like this consciousness and ever evolving like it's always every time you read it you're going to evolve 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 and become a greater version of yourself no matter how much you read it um so um that's that's another thing that i'm going to be uh, creating this year so those are the main things that i'm focused on uh, uh this year and so i'm going to be sharing with you you know uh you know my journey on that um uh as time goes on, I'll share with you other goals and some of the other things that I'm manifesting. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. So um, this is like my Law of Attraction success story series. And this is the first video. So every now and then I'll keep you updated on my progress, the results I'm getting and all of this stuff. I'll even show you like, uh, um, you know, for example, that I'm getting two leads a day now and like, you know, um, how much subscribers have grew in the last 28 days or whatever it is and stuff like that. So you can really see that my intention is working and we're making progress, all right? So thank you for watching this video all the way through. I really appreciate you uh, doing that. Um, we do offer a free subconscious mind diagnosis session. If you want to go ahead and learn how to reprogram your subconscious mind um, and get my life mastery program and try to get shifting life mastery program, um, there'll be a link in the description or you can click on my face right now, right here, click on this right here. <laughs> and um, you can get your free subconscious mind diagnosis session to find out more about my programs. All right. With that being said, keep learning, keep growing, keep expanding, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.